Ever wondered why your dog looks happier than you, even though you're the one in a relationship? Well, maybe it's time to reassess. Now, don't get me wrong, relationships can be fantastic, but they can also be, well, a bit of a dog's dinner. And if you're feeling more chewed up than your pup's favorite bone, it could be a sign that something's not quite right. In the spirit of man's best friend, we're about to embark on a tail-wagging journey to help you sniff out the signs that it might be time to let a woman go. We're not talking about throwing in the towel at the first whiff of trouble, but recognizing when you're barking up the wrong tree can save you a lot of heartache later on. So buckle up as we uncover the five huge signs it's time to let her go and reclaim your dog's enviable joy. First up, if you find yourself enjoying the silence more than her company, Houston, we may have a problem. Now don't get me wrong, it's perfectly normal to crave a little solitude every now and then. We all need that time to decompress, to enjoy a hobby, or even to simply sit in silence and let our thoughts wander. And yet there's a distinct difference between appreciating the occasional alone time and constantly yearning for it. Consider this scenario. You've just finished your day and you're finally home. You kick off your shoes, drop your bag and plop down on the couch. Now here's the question. Are you breathing a sigh of relief because you're finally alone or because you're finally home? If it's the former, then it might be an indication that something's amiss. It's not about being antisocial or introverted. It's about the balance. It's about whether or not you look forward to spending time with her or if you constantly find yourself counting down the minutes until you can retreat back into your solitude. See, relationships are about companionship, about wanting to share moments, thoughts and experiences with each other. If you're continually seeking the solace of solitude over her company, it might be a sign that you're not as invested in the relationship as you once were. And let's be real here, guys. It's not fair to either of you. You deserve to be in a relationship where you look forward to quality time together, and she deserves to be with someone who values her company. So take a moment to reflect. If you're finding more joy in the silence than in her presence, it may be a sign that the relationship has run its course. It's not about assigning blame or pointing fingers. It's about understanding what's best for both of you. So if you're cherishing me time a little too much, it might be time to reconsider your relationship status. Scene script. Next, if your life feels like a never-ending episode of the Jerry Springer show, you might be onto something. Yeah, you heard that right. If your relationship is more about throwing chairs and less about sharing chairs, it's time to reassess. You see, every relationship has its ups and downs, its fair share of arguments and disagreements. That's natural. But when your love life starts to resemble a courtroom drama more than a romantic comedy, that's a sign you need to step back and evaluate. Imagine this. You come home after a long day expecting a warm hug, a chilled drink, maybe some Netflix and chill. Instead, you're greeted with a barrage of accusations, complaints and arguments. Why didn't you take out the trash? Why were you late? Why didn't you call? Sounds familiar. Now, don't get me wrong. It's important to communicate, to air out grievances, to have those difficult conversations. But when every conversation turns into a debate, every comment into a controversy, that's when you know something's off. Imagine if every time you say tomato, she says tomato. No, wait, that doesn't work in text. But you get the idea. If you're spending more time arguing about whose turn it is to do the dishes than actually doing them, you might be in a bit of a pickle. So what's the solution? Well, it's not as simple as just stop arguing. It's about understanding each other, respecting each other's viewpoints and not turning every difference of opinion into a battle. Easier said than done, I know, but remember, a relationship isn't a competitive sport. It's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about two people coming together to share their lives, their dreams, their fears, and yes, their chores. So if you find yourself in a never ending loop of arguments, take a step back, breathe, reflect, and ask yourself, is this what you signed up for? Is this the kind of relationship you want? Remember folks, a relationship should feel like a safe haven, not a battlefield. Scene script. Next up, if you're more scared of your future with her than a horror movie, and even your friends are giving you the look, it's time to face the music. Let's dive straight into sign three, shall we? Future fears. Now, we're not talking about the kind of fear that wakes you up in a cold sweat at night. Imagining that you've forgotten to take out the trash and she's turned into a fire-breathing dragon. No, this is more subtle. It's the feeling of dread that creeps up on you when you think of spending the rest of your life with her. If the thought of growing old together fills you with more fear than excitement, it's a sign you need to reconsider. 
Remember, relationships should be about love, trust, and the joy of shared experiences. If instead you're feeling like you're about to board a roller coaster ride that only goes down, it's time to have a serious heart to heart with yourself. Now, on to the fourth sign friend feedback. Let's be honest, our friends often see things more clearly than we do because love can sometimes make us as blind as a bat in daylight. If your buddies are constantly raising their eyebrows, giving you the look, or dropping not so subtle hints that your relationship seems more like a soap opera, it's time to take notice. Now, this doesn't mean you should break up because your friend Steve thinks she's not right for you. But if all your friends, even the ones who usually couldn't care less, are expressing concern, it might be time to take a step back and evaluate the situation. Remember, while love is blind, friendship is clairvoyant. Your friends want the best for you, and if they're seeing something you're not, it's worth at least considering their perspective. So if you're seeing more red flags than a bullfighter, it might be time to exit stage left. And remember, it's not about running away, it's about moving towards a better future. Because at the end of the day, you deserve happiness, not a horror movie. Finally, if you feel like you've run a marathon after every emotional conversation, it's not fitness, my friend, it's fatigue. Have you ever felt like you've just crossed the finish line of the Boston Marathon after a simple chat about who left the milk out of the fridge? Well, you're not alone. Emotional exhaustion can feel a lot like physical exhaustion, and it's a clear sign that something in your relationship needs to change. Picture this. You're at the starting line of a marathon, all pumped up and ready to go. The starting gun fires and you're off. But instead of a scenic route, you find yourself running through a minefield of emotions. One wrong step and boom! You're caught in a blast of anger, resentment or disappointment. Now, imagine running this emotional marathon day in, day out. Sounds exhausting, right? Well, that's what emotional exhaustion in a relationship feels like. You're constantly on edge preparing for the next emotional landmine. You're running on fumes, trying to navigate your way through a seemingly endless emotional battlefield. It's like being on a roller coaster that only goes down. And my friend, that's no fun. Remember, relationships are supposed to be a source of joy and comfort, not a never-ending race of emotional hurdles. If you find yourself panting for breath after every conversation, it's a sign you're running an emotional marathon, not participating in a healthy relationship. In the grand race of love, it's important to remember that it's not about who crosses the finish line first. It's about enjoying the journey together, supporting each other along the way. But if you're the only one running and you're running on empty, it's time to reconsider. So if you're feeling emotionally winded, it might be time to hang up those running shoes. After all, love should feel like a leisurely stroll in the park, not a sprint through a war zone. So there you have it. Five signs that it might be time to let a woman go and reclaim your dog's enviable joy. We've journeyed through the silent deserts where the only sound is your own heartbeat echoing in your ears. We've navigated the stormy seas of unending arguments where even agreeing feels like a battleground. We've peered into the future, a place of fear and uncertainty and heard the echoing voices of your friends' feedback. And finally, we felt the weight of emotional exhaustion, a burden that no one should carry alone. But remember, this isn't a guide to perfection. It's about finding the right fit for you. Life is like a jigsaw puzzle, and sometimes the pieces just don't fit. So if you found some wisdom in these signs or had a good chuckle, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more insights, and don't be a stranger in the comments section. Remember, it's not about finding the perfect person, but the right person for you. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Until next time, keep your tail wagging.